Did you know that your refrigerator can be a minefield for your health? Discover how small mistakes in food storage can put you and your family at risk. Like and subscribe to our channel. Each like and subscription helps us bring you more quality health content. Your participation makes the difference. Proper food storage is essential for maintaining nutritional quality and safety. When food is stored improperly, whether at incorrect temperatures, in unsuitable packaging, or for extended periods, its nutritional composition can change. These changes are not just about quality or taste. They can lead to the formation of potentially harmful substances. For example, the decomposition of proteins and fats can create dangerous compounds like heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are recognized as carcinogens. Additionally, an improperly stored environment can become a breeding ground for bacteria and fungi, some of which can produce toxins that increase the risk of cancer. Poor storage can also lead to the loss of natural antioxidants in food, such as vitamins and minerals, which are crucial for combating free radicals in the body. Without these antioxidants, the risk of developing cancer and other chronic diseases increases. Therefore, understanding and practicing proper storage methods to preserve food integrity is crucial for long-term health and well-being. The improper storage of processed meats is a significant public health concern, mainly due to the increased risk of forming carcinogenic substances. Meats like bacon, sausages, and ham are often treated with preservatives like nitrites and nitrates to improve color and extend shelf life. However, when these meats are stored improperly, either at incorrect temperatures or with prolonged exposure to oxygen, these additives can react with natural components of the meats to form nitrosamines, which are proven carcinogens. Additionally, storing at high temperatures can accelerate these chemical reactions, further increasing the risk. Besides nitrosamines, improper storage of processed meats can also lead to the formation of other harmful compounds, such as heterocyclic amines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, especially if these meats are later cooked at high temperatures. These compounds are formed during the cooking of proteins and fats at high temperatures and have been associated with various cancers, including stomach and intestinal cancer. Therefore, it is crucial not only to consume processed meats less frequently due to their preservatives, but also to ensure they are stored correctly to minimize the formation of potentially dangerous toxins. The improper storage of raw vegetables, especially those high in nitrates like spinach, beets, and lettuce, can pose a significant health risk. Nitrates themselves are naturally occurring compounds in many vegetables and are relatively harmless. However, when these vegetables are stored improperly, the nitrates can convert into nitrites, which are more reactive. In acidic environments, like the human stomach, or through certain cooking processes, these nitrites can transform into nitrosamines, known for their carcinogenic properties. This risk is exacerbated when vegetables are stored at incorrect temperatures or for prolonged periods, facilitating this chemical transformation. In addition to nitrosamine formation, improper storage can also lead to the growth of pathogenic bacteria in raw vegetables. Conditions such as excessive moisture or inappropriate packaging can create an environment conducive to the growth of microorganisms that can not only cause food poisoning, but also promote the formation of additional toxic substances in the food. Therefore, it is vital to keep vegetables in optimal storage conditions, such as clean and regulated refrigerators and in packages that allow proper ventilation to avoid such health risks. Fungi and mold that develop on food, especially products like bread and nuts, pose serious health risks not only by spoiling the food, but also by producing dangerous toxins. One of the most harmful is aspergillus, a type of fungus that can produce aflatoxins, highly carcinogenic substances. Aflatoxins are most commonly found in foods stored in warm and humid conditions that favor mold growth. These toxins are associated with an increased risk of liver cancer and can cause liver damage and immune system suppression, even in small amounts. Beyond direct health dangers, mold in food can have a significant economic impact, resulting in substantial losses of agricultural and storage products. It is crucial for consumers and manufacturers to implement strict inspection and storage practices to prevent mold contamination. This includes keeping food in dry, well-ventilated environments and regularly checking for signs of spoilage or mold, discarding any items showing visible contamination. By taking these precautions, the risk of exposure to these dangerous toxins can be significantly reduced. 
The temperature of the refrigerator is a critical factor in preserving the safety and quality of food, essential for slowing the growth of harmful microorganisms and maintaining the nutritional characteristics of products. For most perishable foods, the ideal storage temperature is between 0 degrees Celsius and 4 degrees Celsius. Meats, dairy products, and ready-to-eat preparations require special attention to stay within this range, avoiding the so-called danger zone of bacterial growth, which ranges from 4 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Additionally, fruits and vegetables may need slightly different conditions, often cooler with adequate air circulation to avoid premature spoilage. Therefore, regularly monitoring and adjusting the refrigerator and freezer temperatures is crucial to minimize health risks and maximize food shelf life. Proper storage of oils and fats is essential to prevent oxidation and rancidity, processes that not only alter flavor but can also produce harmful compounds. Polyunsaturated oils, such as flaxseed and fish oil, are particularly susceptible to degradation and should be stored in cool, dark places, preferably in the refrigerator, to slow oxidation. More stable oils, like olive and coconut oil, can be kept at room temperature, provided they are away from direct light and heat, which can accelerate deterioration. It is a myth that all oils can be stored the same way. The reality is that stability varies significantly among different types. Therefore, understanding and applying the appropriate storage method for each type of oil is crucial for maintaining its quality and safety. The preservation of canned foods after opening requires specific care to avoid contamination risks, including the leaching of heavy metals like tin and lead from the cans into the food. When a can is opened and the food is not transferred to a suitable container, prolonged contact with the metal can lead to the leaching of toxic substances, especially if the foods are acidic like tomatoes or fruits. This process is accelerated if the food is stored in the original can in the refrigerator. Therefore, it is essential to transfer the remaining food to glass or food-grade plastic containers and cover them tightly. Adopting these simple practices can significantly minimize the risk of exposure to contaminants that can compromise health. To ensure safe food storage and minimize the risk of developing carcinogenic substances, it is crucial to follow some recommended practices. Firstly, keep the refrigerator and freezer at the appropriate temperatures. Below 4 degrees Celsius for the refrigerator and below minus 18 degrees Celsius for the freezer to prevent bacterial growth. Use airtight containers to avoid cross-contamination and the absorption of unwanted odors. Especially sensitive foods, such as meats and dairy products, should be stored on the coldest shelves, while vegetables should be placed in drawers with humidity control. Additionally, avoid prolonged storage of oils and fats at room temperature and prefer dark, sealed containers to protect them from light and oxygen, slowing oxidation. These simple yet effective measures help preserve the nutritional quality of food and consumer health. Several foods should not be refrigerated, as the cold can alter their texture, flavor, and even their chemical composition. Tomatoes, for example, lose their flavor and texture when refrigerated, as the cold interrupts the ripening process and can alter their aromatic compounds. Potatoes should also be avoided in the refrigerator, as low temperatures convert starch into sugar more quickly, altering their flavor and texture and increasing their glycemic content. Garlic and onions should be kept in a cool, dry place, as refrigerator moisture can promote mold growth. Finally, honey, which crystallizes and loses its smooth texture when refrigerated, should be stored at room temperature to maintain its liquid consistency and natural properties. Knowing and respecting the specific storage needs of each food is essential to preserve their best qualities. Throughout this video, we discussed the crucial importance of proper food storage practices to maintain food safety and prevent the development of carcinogenic substances. From the correct storage of processed meats to avoid nitrosamine formation to keeping oils and fats away from heat and light to prevent oxidation, it is evident that how we store food significantly impacts our health. Therefore, it is essential for everyone to be informed and aware of the best food storage practices. We encourage continuous education on this topic and the implementation of these practices in every home. By doing so, we can reduce the risk of diseases, including cancer, and promote healthier lives for ourselves and our families. So have you ever thought about how something as simple as where you store your food can profoundly affect your health? Our tour through proper food storage practices ends here. 
but your journey to a healthier life is just beginning. Leave a comment on which tip you will implement first and if there is another health topic you are curious to explore. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content that can make a difference in your life. Let's make each meal safer and healthier together. See you next time.